Hello there, it's Dave Motorhead out in the garage working on stuff and things. It's going to be a quick little video I've been thinking about making and some guys are asking questions, so I'm going to make it right now. Anyway, uh, is your lifter good or is your lifter bad? Well, let's uh, explore this and, uh, uh, you know, I'll show you how you can check real quick. All right, so let me turn this camera around and we'll get right to it. Okay, right here we have two brand new sealed power lifters and two bad lifters. And uh, a lifter should be crowned in the center. It should have a crown on it. If you look at these lifters, you can see that there is, they're concaved in the center. You see that? You can see where that they're, they have a dimple instead of a crown. Now, if we look at one of these new ones here, let's pull out a new lifter. And if you look at the new lifter, you will see that it's, it's got a crown. I don't know how well you can see that maybe not at all but what you can do with these lifters is you take two of them take yourself two brand new lifters and you stick them together like this and they should have daylight in the center and if you see if you see around the edges you see how in the center they're touching but around the edges you can see daylight and they will spin on each other and that's how a lifter should be they should be crowned in the center not concaved and another way you can check is uh, if you take a ball bearing, ball bearing, I'm trying to do this with one hand. If you stick it on the, the bad lifter, it'll stay in, in the middle. Let me see if I can get this better. I don't know, this thing's having a hard time. Anyway, you stick it on the bad lifters and the ball bearing won't roll off. It just kind of sits in the middle there. And that's because it's concave. But if you stick it on the good lifter in the center, it'll roll off. Either one of these, it'll roll off. Because they're... Where'd my ball bearing go? My ball bearing's... Right. Anyway, so you stick it on the good lifters, it'll roll off because they're they're crowned in the center. They have a crown on them. But the bad lifter, the ball bearing will just stay like that. And the, the reason that they're crowned in the center is because when it's on a cam, if it's got a crown in the center like that, and it's wobbly, It'll, it'll make the lifter spin. It'll, it'll, every time it goes around, it, the lifter is constantly spinning in its bore. And what that does is it helps lube up the, the lifter, uh, you know, it, it spreads oil and it turns the push rod on the other end. It spins it around like a Rainbird sprinkler to where it, the little hole in the end goes like this and, and it, it just sprays oil everywhere and it gets up into the rocker balls and everything else. So anyway, that's how you can tell if you have a good lifter or a bad lifter. Now let me turn this camera around and uh, close out this short, quick video. Hello, I'm back with you. And uh, that's basically one of the things you look for, whether you have a good lifter or a bad lifter, is if it's crowned in the center, it's still good. If it's concaved in the center or flat, it's bad. And you can generally use lifters, you know, your old lifters with a cam, uh, the old cam, if one, you put them back in the same hole or the same lobe that they came out of, and two, the lifter still got a crown to it, so it'll spin and it's still good. If it doesn't have a crown to it, don't use it. It's bad. It's going to eat up your cam and everything else, and it just won't work. So you always want to have good crowned lifters in your engine, whether they're used or new. Make sure they have a crown on them, and I even check new ones every time just to make sure I don't have a bad lifter because I don't want to be pulling them back out and in case there's a factory problem with one. Anyway, this is Dave Motorhead, and there's a little Lifter 101. Thanks for watching.